kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Oh, well, he's nice and positive. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Wait, didn't they say his name was Alex Casey? Alex Casey was the uh, detective from. Or no, yeah, Alex A Casey. He was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Okay, return one invitation. Yeah, Alex Casey was the name of the uh, the famous detective in Alan Wake's books. Alex Casey, yeah, and then was the detective in Alan Wake's books. Yeah, that's I think so. Take a look at that map. Oh, what's this? Okay, Cauldron Lake Campgrounds. Your home in the pines. Wow, that intro. That intro was crazy, but um, it did remind me a little bit of the I I hear someone. Silent Hill 2 intro. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Where's Deputy Doofus? Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agents right here, Thornton. <laughs> My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? <laughs> what do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> what can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <clears throat> well, we reckon there are some, uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, but you know, inside. Nice. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. The city folk. They're pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. You say you haven't talked to him yet? I want to see the body. 
How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Mulligan, tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They got it, Thornton. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Okay, goal. Get to the crime scene, meet Deputy Thornton. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The oh, facts wow. The board. Okay. So this is in her, her mind, obviously. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Okay, the case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress investigation. Okay, you can use this. Zoom. Okay, got it. All right, what do we got so far? Victims, all victims reported missing, 2010, no other commonalities. Dentist, stab wounds, bloating on the wrists. Bruising on the wrist, Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Store owner bruising, heart removed. Okay, bruising on wrists, deep gash in the chest, heart missing, all bodies experience bloating. Huh, all right. You can look at the map. I don't know what it wants me to do. Talk to someone. All right, I can do that. Already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Oh, it says visiting the mind place does not oh, pause the game. Gives me a headache. <laughs> Too much sky. Oh my God. This guy is so positive. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What's this? Nothing. Hey, Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Oh, my God, that's funny. Not wrong, though. It's this. Bright Falls... Oh, chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage at the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in dead of night. Okay, so if you guys want to read this, go ahead and pause it. There's a lot here. I'll probably read like a lot of this stuff, but some of this is going to be a lot. Seen Doberman found on trail. Okay. Wow. All right, let's keep going. I'm assuming he's going to just take us where I, we need to be. Where are we at right now? We're all the way up here. Okay. Your location. FBI. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> Can I get back up? Probably not. Mirror peak? 
Uh, the mighty mountain in the distance is none other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Oh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, do you remember from the first game, um, the lake, it was always, everything was mirrored. Symbolism. Which, if you guys haven't seen the first game, like six months ago, um, in honor of this game coming out, I played through the first Alan Wake, the remastered edition, and put it up on my channel. That was the first time I'd ever played it. It was actually a lot of fun. I have heard, though, that the like the first Alan Wake was much an adventure game, where this one, I guess, they're saying is way more like just straight survival horror. Like, what, what's this? I just feel like there's like a lot of stuff to look at. So we just came down this trail. I'm going to run up here real quick. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Okay, so I can leave him if I want to like... Ah. Okay, so it keeps me in the area it wants me in. But like, is there anything up here? Yeah, here, hold on. Okay, so it was blocked off up there, but this it shows. I was, I'm just going to look around. In true survival... Oh, look at that. Dream catchers or whatever. In true survival horror fashion, uh, they usually reward people for, like, snooping around, searching. Maybe, maybe not, but... see mortar falls this powerful feat of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature churning grinding waters at the bottom of the falls represent a mortar and pestle quite like the one the witch of cauldron lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky nice look at those dream catcher thingies like everywhere huh well so far the wait was something over here the graphics. Is that are... a kid's lunchbox? What? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Dude, okay, I Casey was right. Hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. Yeah, so I was right. Alex Casey is the name of the manuscript fragments. Alex. Okay, manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. What's this? Oh, okay. I have two fragments and I need 12 to upgrade something. The fact that like the game does not pause when you go into the mind place. I mean, I'm going to have to be really careful with that. Because you know there's some gnarly death scenes. Lost, Anderson. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. <laughs> He's such a pessimist. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Hold on. I mean, if they're going to let me... Why is there a phone booth out here? If they're going to let me... Hold on. Where am I at? Which is hut? I'm just going to look down real quick. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Anything down here? I don't think so. I should probably just stick with my partner. But it is daylight, and I feel like if I'm gonna like look around, daylight's probably the safest time to do it. 
I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. What are you talking about? I think I'm going to the right place. Wait, hold on. Which is hut? Which is ladle? is my partner I somehow lost my partner deputy Thornton I take it that's me at your service ready to get this case solved now the body's behind the store come on I'll show you hmm to see you still in one piece Anderson Forest can be a dangerous place. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Gordon, he's choking. Let's just see this body, shall we? I love how they make this the local the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Oh my god, this is graphic. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlock your first key image. You can place it um, on the case board and sign mind place. Okay. Here we go. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? I think not. Okay. Goals are available at the case board. Uh, you're now free to examine the case board. Yeah, well, let's... let's um, you can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh my god. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Means he was alive when he got tied down. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Wow. Um. That's all we got from here, right? So this is definitely a tutorial. Um, let's see. Pictures consistent with previous murders. Here we go. Major chest trauma. Cargo straps. And heart found near the victim's body. Hold on. How is this not... There. Okay. It's pretty picky about chest, where you set them. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Hmm. <clears throat> Victim and the killers. Okay, the clues uh, have been resolved in open question to unlock a Deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. All right, you can check goals by hitting triangle. You are now free to examine the case board to collect new clues. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Oh my God, this is graphic. This is crazy. Here's something. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? They got over here. 
They do have some clues numbered, which is good. What is that? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Oh, so this was totally set up. It's premeditated setup. Obviously, though, we knew that already. It was some kind of cult. Um, okay, hold on. Multiple sets of footprints. Later. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. Huh. Is there anything else the body can tell us? Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Yeah, you think? Okay, hold on. It like wants me to heavy blood spatter. That's victim. How is that not victim? You want me to put killers? Interesting. Footprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Yeah, no kidding. For later. Okay, so this mind place of hers is obviously a place for us to like think through stuff, figure stuff out. What's over here? What the hell? Do you guys are just gonna ignore this? A yeah, creepy a, twig sculpture. That's the symbols we keep seeing. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. What does this say? Confused, follow the steps, wash hands, take chicken out of fridge, and take a nap. What? Oh, good. A puzzle. Is there anything around here we can use? I'll look around. See you in a bit. Take your time. Where exactly are we? Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. A lot of beer. The killer's just hanging out in here. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Dreaming about deer. Bad sign. No, I'm just kidding. So what is this that's happening? There's these symbols. Like all over the place. Can I open any of these drawers? No. The hell? Shower? Sink? Wait, what's this? This be a warning to fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a cauldron, something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and more man-made, intentional. I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place beneath the calm surface, lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button, and the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing, I know it. First drawing, waterline, real caldera is made from a volcano, lava, second, engineering structures, strange machines. I don't know. Look at all these symbols. Okay, somehow these symbols. Wait, hold on. These symbols somehow are the answer to this, but confused. Follow this. Oh, wash hands. Take chicken out of fridge. Take a nap. Wash. Oh, okay. Wash hands. Okay, so wash hands. One over here. Oh, the bathroom Anderson. had one. Hey, 
Let's get back to work over here, can we? Wash hands right there. Okay, up, down. Take chicken out of. So it's a side by side, up, down, up, down. Take chicken out of fridge. Then what was the last one? Take a nap. Side by side, up, down. Okay. There we go. And then, and then like a bow tie. Here we go. Let's see. Yep. Uh, there we go. Nice. All right. Well, that wasn't too hard. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, I'm going to like literally take all of your stuff if I can. Well, that was cool. Our first little puzzle. These guys are obviously yelling at me to come back, though. So let's do that. I was in the middle of a very important investigation. The dead guy can wait. Welcome back, Anderson. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. What? Nightingale. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. He was uh, from the first game. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Wow. Um. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Yeah. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Wow. So I think now that's everything. For now at least. Mm-hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. Need to think about it. So what are we doing now? You're not helping. Okay, hold on. I think they want us to go to mine place. Put some stuff up here. Here we go. Okay. Robert Nightingale, ex FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Make this. Right here, premeditated or spontaneous. I mean, obviously, it's premeditated. Sorry. Obviously. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Oh man, this is like this is like our home base of operations. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. God, he looks so creepy there. I mean, he's dead, but... Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there, too. You 
are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Okay, so she's obviously like psychic or clairvoyant or something. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. What the hell? Okay, so now there's something on our uh, something new over here. Here we go. Came from Cauldron Lake. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Okay, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. You do that. Wait, hold on, though. Okay, here was the murder site. I think this was that building. I want to go look down here real quick, man. One of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Skinny dipping? Here's another lunchbox. Uh, how do you like the knitting hero? I made it just for you. Three fragments. Nice. These are um, weapon upgrade. UFOs, the UFO ultimate guide to spotting unidentified flying objects. Writing this down in case it happens again. Hit me at 1.15 a.m. If you guys want to read through this, go ahead. We got in the car for chasing it. Starry night, not much moon as I expected. Led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. Hmm. All right, so people are seeing what they think are bright lights and UFOs around Cauldron Lake. Is there anything else? Yep. Okay, so this should bring me right back where uh, my partner's at. This is wild. down this way anything at all I'm just kind of looking around because this game so far seems like it's a, a real like survival horror game and in true survival horror fashion like resources are what's going to keep you alive and looking around usually did you get lost Anderson <laughs> always What are we doing? What is this? Huh. This is weird. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You Wait, what need is to get out more? What is this? A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. 
There is no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mister mysterious stories about the lake being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake, and then took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Oh, that's, that's creepy. What's this? Big ass tree. Oh, here we wait. What's this? Tracks, barefoot, nightingales. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Well, that's wild. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Okay. Profile back over here. Is there a quicker way to cycle through stuff? Here we go. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Oh my god. Manuscript pages, chessboard. What do we got here? Footprints. Victim came from. Nope. Here you go. Right there. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Uh, that's wild. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Wow, this is wild. So far, I'm like really impressed with this game. Um, seems Did like. You know, this entire area is inside a caldera. This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Caldera's a pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. <laughs> hey, you I used to back. love geology Good. when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. 
I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Oh, well, thank you. I'll Thanks. take it. So she's also a Let's coroner? Get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Shortcut key. I feel like there's a whole bunch of stuff down here we Seems still like have not. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Wait, I'm just, I just want to make sure we don't like leave anything behind. I mean, I have a feeling that we'll be back in this area a few I'll be times. Back in a second. Roger. Well, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I just have a feeling there's a the bunch of stuff. Again. Who's leaving these out here? We're on this together, hero. Have a heroic day. Two more fragments. Huh. Yeah, I definitely at some point need to like run around and search this place better. But, you know. I feel like I also need to like go along with the story too, so. Let's see. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? <laughs> to record a snuff film maybe and why take out his heart just to throw it away to stuff in something for us to find no nah, i think they got interrupted in the middle of their ritual and they didn't get to finish that would be my guess they just never got to uh finish what they were doing oh they take the wrong way maybe it's this I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Oh, it's a bunch of notes on birds. Oh no. We'll we can always look at it later. Is this the right way? Well, we'll see. Oh, and we're back at the parking lot. Here we are. Nice. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Real quick. Let's put this up on the case board. There we go. All right. Well, let's go to town. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. All right, everybody, I am going to end this video here. Your pal Al, love you guys, and I will see you in the second half of Return One Invitation.